Did you see a decent movie that I have to review? Where is it? There it is! I'm going to do a review on Dora and the Lost City of Gold. Cue the intro! <laughs> Pixar Fanatic 2007 here, and also I know you all say this, but say this about this, but please, please, please don't see Thor in the Lost Sea of Gold. Don't see Thor in the Lost Sea of Gold. It's a bad movie. Well, guys, I didn't hurt you. I just saw this movie in Cinemark theaters, and guess what? I I quite enjoyed it. So yeah, my opinion will set it on my review. So please enjoy today. I'm going to do a review on Dora and the Lost City of Gold. Came in the year of 2019. Directed by the same director as The Muppets 2011 and Muppets Most Wanted. So yeah. So basically what the plot is, it, it, we have Dora who is acted by Isabella Moner who finds the the Lost City of Gold named Parapata, but then but then when 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 she found his cousin Diego as as a teenager again, Dora and and, and her friends going on an adventure to find the golden pot of bata. But then when Swiper the fox steals it, they need to go after him. So yeah. And later before the end of the movie, Dora and her friends found the lost sea of gold. So yeah. And then and then in the end of the movie, they they have a dance party and they sing, oh hooray we did it, in the in the end credits, so yeah. And so that's basically what the plot is. What do I think about this movie? I have to admit, I really quite enjoyed this movie, so yeah. When Paramount first announced the movie that's, that there's going to be a door movie directed by Michael Bay, I was like, no! And also, after the trailer, and I'll say, boy, this movie looks bad. But after the, when the trailer released, I'm now excited for it. But then, after looking at Swiper's design in the new trailer of Dora and the Lost City of Gold, and Dora and the Lost City of Gold, and before, I mean, before Toy Story 4 plays, I think this movie's going to be meh. But after when people says about something good about this film, guess what? I just saw the movie in theaters, and guess what? I really quite enjoyed it, so yeah. Let's talk about the story. The story? The storyline was pretty good. I thought the storyline was pretty decent at the best. I mean, I mean, sorry that I stuttering, but that happens to me every time I do a review, guys. No, other than that, the storyline is pretty good, so yeah. I like how they start up the Dora movie when Dora was six years old, so yeah. That took me back, took me back to my childhood memories when I watched Dora, Dora the Explorer on Noggin. So yeah, which I I love Noggin. Noggin is part of my childhood. So yeah, and the CGI animation on Boots and and Swiper, they look pretty good. So yeah, it's decent. So yeah, and I have to admit that Swiper design looks pretty good so far. So yeah. Swapper is a fine character, so yeah, and uh, and also, hmm, what's next? Aha, the characters, the characters, the pr characters are pretty decent, so yeah. Dor Dora, as as acted by Isabella Monter, she's good. I have to admit, Isabella Monter is the best actor of Dora, so yeah, as a teenager, I guess, so yeah. Diego is fine, and 
and Sammy is decent, and and Freddy is oh is decent. So yeah, and also what do I think of Bo Boots? Well, Boots is kind of kind of my favorite one out of this movie. So yeah, and also the hallucination scene. God, the hallucination scene was very very funny. So yeah. It looks like the same as the TV show itself, so yeah. It was pretty funny as heck, so yeah. And and finally and finally finally and, and wait, it's not over yet, so yeah. The writing the writing was pretty good, so the writing was fine I guess, so yeah. And not and also the the, the songs the songs were pretty 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 nice. My favorite song in this movie was the the end ending song, hooray we did it. So yeah, similar to the original one in the TV show. So yeah, and also the design of the characters they are pretty they are pretty good. So yeah. Also, before I end this review, I've gotta say this to anybody who dislikes this movie, I respect their opinion, and also I respect Nick Network Returns' opinion on this movie. So yeah. And I even respect Inside Out in 2001's opinion on this movie. And also, especially you, Blastop24001, aka my best cousin on YouTube. And, and if you're watching this, I respect your opinion, pal. I know you dislike this movie so much. But to me, Playmobil the movie is my new worst movie of all time. Speaking of Playmobil the movie, the only bad thing about this film is... The previews. Well, the previews were okay, but they played that Playmobil movie trailer, and I was like, I went to the bathroom. And I was like, Oh no! Why? 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 So yeah. Okay. So yeah, and also, and also, there are some people who like this movie, and I even agree, agree with Mackenzie Freeman. And also, you know what? Evil Savage Stingy was so right. This movie was a blast. So yeah. Overall, guys, the CGI characters of Boots and and Swiper were good. The story is good, and and the characters are good, and the story and and the, and the uh and the songs were great. So yeah. Overall, guys, on a scale one out of ten stars. I get Dora and the Lost City of Gold an 8 out of 10 stars. I've got to say about this film. This movie was worth watching, so yeah. <laughs>